So Attack on Titan is well and truly a very hostile place. There is a lot of dangerous things around each individual corner. The question is, if you were taken out of your world right now, would you be able to survive within it? With the context of the narrative and the events that actually transpire, do you think you'd be able to prevail through those? Do you think you could even strive even? Or do you think you'd most likely meet some sort of demise under the weight that is the world of Attack on Titan? I think Mali is a pretty decent place to start off. A very vicious place. A place that covers the wall over the eyes of public perception. That manipulates their people and their society. That are built off very dangerous ideologies and rage war with people. That employ the idea of child warriors and training them to fight their enemies and to uphold a weapon that will kill you in 13 years. Which is obviously the Titan ability. A place like this is ruled pretty heavily, pretty strictly, with really no remorse. If you're not placed in any sort of higher up position, your opinion, your value to anything even is almost null and void. You won't have much say in what you can and cannot do. Unless you're trying to gun for some sort of government and political position or even some military position, you're going to have to waver through all of the crud that is in between you and your potential end goal. Not only that, racism is a very big thing within Mali. Uh, subjugation, definitely being manipulated and thinking a certain type of way. So the general consensus of people that are different within Mali is probably looked upon very differently. God forbid you're any sort of a, a different race to them, you're most likely not going to have a good time. It may not be an easy time. You could get lynched. You could get killed. You could find it very difficult to find a job. Even if you find a job, you could get forced into a different zone of sorts. If you're not a pure Malian, to any extent, you're already subjugated to a degree. You're not treated as equal to them. Even then, your right to live as some sort of life under your own rule is taken away even more so. You're now kind of in the confinement of the military and the politics sides of Mali and that in itself is a very dangerous thing. Being potentially pushed into the military as a warrior to some extent or some sort of political slave, whatever it could be. Something that doesn't necessarily work well, without a doubt. Even if you were to strive in Mali, like I said before, there is a lot of crud that you have to waver through. Trying to strive up within the military or within the politics side of things is a very dangerous game. You're a very good soldier, you're most likely going to be appointed a titan shifting ability, which I guess if you want to go out swinging, that would be the best way to go. But even more so, the military prowess of Mali is very manipulative. It paints a certain agenda, a certain picture, and you're fighting a war that may not sit well with your self ideologies. It may even be corruptive. It may change you to an extent, mentally, physically, emotionally, living in that constant fear. On the political sides of things, it's just as hairy. You gotta be very intelligent, very smart, and you gotta play a lot of different people and it's just like politics it's usually a self-personal game you're trying to get out on top you're trying to live some sort of a normal life even you're trying to live some sort of life of luxury the top one percent which i don't even think is possible from any sort of political or military perspective of a higher caliber so unless you've got some royal blood or make some royal blood connections to some very well-known people i think the lifestyle within mali whatever age whatever it may be is very detrimental i think the only true escape to some sort of freedom outside of Mali is generally leaving it. Getting on any sort of vehicle to take you out of Mali specifically into a different place. To a different place anywhere outside of it that's not in the ruling of Mali specifically. That would realistically be the one way to go and you could survive it. You'd probably have to deal with a lot of different things. I'm not too sure how Mali actually views that perception of people leaving and whether they kind of dictate the borders and everything like that which is a whole different story but that would be probably the safest way that you could survive with keeping your sanity. You don't want to join the military, you don't want to join the politics, you don't want to live in poverty, you don't want to live in a racist fueled place that upholds some very weird and self-destructive ideologies, then you probably want to get out. Not to mention the constant threat of war on the backs of Mali and what they're trying to push, what they're trying to achieve. In comparison, paradise does well and truly seem like paradise. A place that's so secluded on an island that has nothing to do with the rest of the world. You would be thrown into the same place. God forbid you had any sort of ounce of exploration or any sort of ounce of wanting freedom, you wouldn't be leaving anytime soon. The only ounce of freedom that you would get is if you were part of the Survey Corps, and, and that is well and truly a high-risk
risk, pretty medium reward. You get a very small glimpse of freedom, but you're faced with constant threat of death, which I guess each to their own and what that equals out to and whether that's even worth it or not. Paranoise has a lot of different options. Yes, you're well and truly stuck where you are. You're not going to be leaving the island anytime soon. I mean, you could, but I think your chances of surviving is pretty slim. The outside world that you know nothing about, that you think is destroyed by titans, is ruled by titan. God forbid you get caught by a titan, you're dead. You're gone. You're finished. You're surrounded by them. So I think the pretty standard options would be to try and live some sort of peaceful life as a farmer, as something that's kind of just on the outskirts. Very close to danger if anything were to happen, but you could live a farmer life. You could try and get closer within the walls, trying to go that political route once again, trying to get in that top 1%, or trying to connect with someone that has a bit of power, a bit of say. Hell, you could even go the military route. Even that gives you a bit more of a chance of survivability. Considering the military is not as malicious as Mali and actually has some pretty decent sections and um, zones for them, your options within there isn't just strictly fighting. You could be positioned on top of a wall, you could be positioned on maintenance, cleaning. There's a lot of different branches within the military of Paradise and Eldia, so well and truly, you could live some sort of comfortable lifestyle. You wouldn't be making top coin, but it'd be doable, it'd be manageable. However, there is also the constant threat of being called upon, and even if you have no fighting experience whatsoever, you will be called to fight. Not to mention the political aspect of things is very murky to begin with. It's not the most ideal place that you want to be in, considering the manipulation that they put their people through in terms of the power of the founding titan, which, mind you, you know nothing about. So, where do you really want to sit? Do you want to sit on the political throne, or do you want to sit on the military throne? Hell, do you just want to throw it away, similar to Mali, and just become a Survey Corps member? Go out with maneuver gear and try and stride for bigger and better things. The new Aaron Jaeger of the story. Even with all of these options between both Mali and Paradise, there is one thing that we have not taken into context, and that is the events of the story. Paradise gets absolutely obliterated in multiple different occasions, but the destruction that falls upon the city would well and truly put you in a firing line. Even if you are a simple farmer living on the outskirts, very close to the final war between you and Titans, with the events that happen, that wall is going to come crumbling down, and a massive amount of Titans going to come piling in, there goes your farm, there goes your life. Even if you did manage to survive, you're going to be put into crippling poverty, which is definitely something that Paradise ultimately suffers with already. It's a very middle to low class society with the resources that they have in the situation and location where they are. There's not realistically anything they can do about it. They're not the thriving metropolis of the new world. They're very outdated and well and truly behind. But hey, even if you're living in Mali, there's some sort of chance of living a simple life, right? Maybe? until the events that happen over in Mali as well, which puts them in the firing line. You could be one of those innocent civilians that ultimately gets killed because of the destruction and the war between Mali and Eldia. At this point, your chances of survivability are well and truly there, but they're extremely situational. You could most definitely survive in both Mali and Paradise. However, you're going to be facing some very massive monumental moments, and your life is constantly going to be on the line in some way, shape, or point within the story. You will come face to face with Titan, to some extent. The walls will come crumbling down within paradise and the war will come to Mali and bring forth destruction. I guess it kind of depends on where you want to sit personally. Do you want to try and thrive within Mali or do you want to try and thrive within paradise? Do you want to try and use everything that happens within this story to your advantage? Do you reckon you'd be really good with maneuver gear and become the next Levi of the story? It's probably a bit of a reach, but we could all believe and hope, right? Do you reckon you could become a pivotal figure within Mali and maybe even change the outlook of them. Probably very far-fetched, considering they're very stuck in their ways, so there is possibility, most definitely, but there's also a lot of dangers lurking within the world. Could you survive? Of course, but you're going to be facing some very difficult things, and I don't know how you'd want to face those things, let alone if you'd want to. So with that being said, that is basically it. There is a lot of things that can go into surviving within the world of Attack on Titan. Understanding the world, understanding its characters, connections, possibilities are completely endless, but there is so much danger lurking around each individual corner, and if you slip up or mess up or do something that's completely out of the textbook, it's going to be very detrimental for you. It all depends on the actions you take and how much you're willing to strive to some sort of freedom or even some sort of lifestyle that you are are happy with personally. You may just give up and I honestly wouldn't blame you uh, considering the situation that both Mali and Paradise evidently go through. They're very rough, very gritty and everything along the line. So let me know how you would want to survive. Would you pick Mali? Would you pick Paradise?
guys somewhere in the middle what would you want to do but i'm actually going to end the video off here i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next one goodbye